memory is a way of holding on to the things you love, the things you are, the things you never want to lose. Imagine if you woke up tomorrow and you couldn't remember who you were or the last thing you did. You lost your memory. We wouldn't be able to manage in life without our memory. We use our memory every day, but we don't realize it. We use our memory to remember little things like how to get back home or to recognize people's faces. Our memory also lets us remember the mistakes that we made in the past to learn from them. We use our memory in different relationships. Our memory helps us link events that we had in the past with certain people. Because of that, we are able to form deeper bonds with them. It could also break a relationship, though. If you had one bad memory with someone, you may not be as close to them as you used to be. If you lost your memory right now, you wouldn't be able to do things that people around you do so easily, such as being able to tie your shoe to being able to walk on your own. It would also be hard to be on the other side of things, though, if a family member lost their memory. You'd have to always be helping them, but sometimes you can't. It is hard to see someone you love struggling so much. I know this because my great uncle has Alzheimer's. There are many diseases that causes memory loss, such as dementia. Dementia affects memory, thinking, language, judgment, and behavior. Alzheimer's is a form of dementia. There are seven stages of Alzheimer's. The first stage, there aren't any signs. The second stage causes minor memory lapses. The third stage is when doctors can tell the patient has Alzheimer's. The fourth stage, the patient forgets recent events. The fifth stage is when they forget bigger things, such as their date or the address. The sixth stage is when they'll need help remembering names, including their own name. The seventh stage is when they need help doing pretty much everything. 5.3 million people are victims of this incurable disease. One of them is my great uncle. It is extremely hard dealing with Alzheimer's patients, especially my great uncle, because he's in the seventh stage, the last stage. He has a hard time doing things that we do easily. My family realized watching my great uncle go through Alzheimer's that, is it, that it is important to cherish the people around you and the memories you make. Live life one day at a time. Share with people who matter most to you. For life is a little jar of memories, so fill it with people worth remembering. The next time you're with your friends or family, remember to live in the moment, because you never know when someone or something can be taken away from you. Memories last forever. People don't. So make every memory count. Thank you.